Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We got some investigating to do. Now, normally this is the part of the game, right? Where full on proceeds to bitch about how it's not the defense attorney's job to find the real culprit in a case, but for my boy Edgeworth, I can make an exception. All right, I'll put my detective hat on. I'll be gumshoes little lackey. We're gonna solve this crime together for, <laughs> for my man. December 26th, detention center, visitor's room. Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. But so like, is is day two of the trial actually just gonna be like <laughs> being the defense lawyer for Maya again? <laughs> for when she was held in contempt of court? What are we gonna do about that? Is she just like here forever now? <laughs> Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Uh, huh? How much? Mm, I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. It's all right, buddy. We'll, we'll figure something out for you. Anyway, would you like to look at... Oh my God, I forgot that we had all this stuff. I was ready to be like, would you like to look at my attorney's badge? Okay, just re-familiarizing myself real quick. Yeah, so this was indeed the murder weapon. But it was fired three fucking... I'm still... Man, I am actually stunlocked by this fired three times shit. Holy hell. But we just heard two shout... Two gunshot sounds. Where'd the third shot come from? Who knows? Ugh. Oh, wow. I just didn't, can go fucking anywhere. I go to Grossberg? What the fuck? Uh, take me to, take me to Gumshoe. What's he got going on? December 26th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Hey, Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the scene then. <laughs> Checks out, makes sense. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. I bet he is. Let's go uh, deeper in. He's probably at the spot where the camera was set up, would be my guess. That's where I would be. December 26th, Gord Lake Public Beach. Hmm, haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonce. Poor guy. Look, all right, Larry's living his best life. Don't give him shit. He's trying his best. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Yep, there he is. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. Uh, the trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you. You know. Uh, thanks. You, you found anything, buddy? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? 
Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Uh, sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. We really flashback just for that, okay. <laughs> I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I'd never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Poor guy, dude. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. And I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering how much is bail going to be? Ah, don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What a guy! He's <laughs> my dude! <laughs> what? Edgeworth? Uh, didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Huh. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. I don't know about that. All right, that's a little extreme. I wonder why she brought a camping cooker with her. There's a convenience store right up the street. I guess she wanted to get into the outdoor spirit. Is there anything going on here? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Is her car all fucked up? Is that relevant? I don't think Lada takes very good care of her SUV. It's covered with dents. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Yeah, all right. And the camera. I don't think there's anything new going on here. I want to real quick while I'm here just go check out the, the boat rental dock. Just to see. Yeah, there's something going on here. December 26th, boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Never mind. There is nothing going on here. <laughs> I thought there might be someone here. Okay. We'll go pick up uh, Maya. Uh, Gord Lake Entrance. I don't know why my brain just absolutely fried there for a moment. December 26th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. <sighs> free at last, huh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. C can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. He said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously we're gonna win this case. What do you think we should do next? Mm, we're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I, I was kidding. Still, no, oh, this, this is Phoenix. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say, shall we head down there? Sure. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, 
I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. All right, to the lake we go, yet again. I'm gonna go back to Grossberg's office at some point. I gotta know what the fuck that guy's on about. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Lada. Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking, a little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So, you see, I wanted to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What the fuck is she on about? <laughs> what? What did you think of today? What did you think of the trial? Uh, to be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kinda convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Let's <laughs> hope that's never, Jesus. Right? <laughs> you mean the first time you witness a murder? What about Gordy? Right! Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rock it to stardom. All right, Lada, you go, girl. I wish I could have been invest an investigative photographer, too. You still can. Maya, you're 17. Your whole life is in front of you. You can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> Finish your spirit medium training first. Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see. Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. I exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... See you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? <laughs> oh, that was good. All right, all right. I didn't, I didn't expect this is the swerve. Got it. Okay. Well, what'll it be? We gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? We deal, obviously. I need the info. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. She knows we're poor. Oh no, it's written all over us. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first. Got it? Okay... Right. See y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Uh, uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? 
Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. I should go to the fucking... I'm telling you, we're going to the goddamn boats! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. When did this get set up? I was only gone for like, what, half an hour, maybe? <laughs> Holy shit! What's that? The Steel Samurai, Nick! Yo, my! Why is this... What's going on with his sleeve? What's it... Is this jacket too big for him? What's going on? Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Keonce's idea. She was all, if you like it, put this here. It would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Right. What the fuck is... <laughs> Doesn't that Steel Samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. This steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festive atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? Huh? What? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Or what the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? Well, who knows? Who knows what the war the- Oh my god, now he's so serious! What happened, Larry? <laughs> you take a look at the Seal Samurai statue and suddenly he's not about it anymore. <laughs> Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Ah. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh, that's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. And he transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. He was probably pretty fucking traumatized. <laughs> Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry, when did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, right. The, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. Uh, that's what I use to put the air in this. Oh, it's a balloon. I see now. Okay, it's an inflatable. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh, and here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. Hmm, what the fuck's going on with this? What's this machine? That, uh, that's a compressor. I use it to fill that balloon there with air. Huh, neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Hmm, I feel like this is gonna be relevant somehow, but it is currently not. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, what, a, what an absolute goober. Please let there be something at the boat rental shop. December 26th, boat rental shop. It's always so 
quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. Mm, I get it. I still can't. Can't go in. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Anything in the boats? There's some boats floating at the dock. Murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. Damn. Well, not much going on at the boat rentals. This will be relevant eventually, I swear. I promise. Uh, I guess we go to the woods? We gotta find something about Gordy, so... Hey, y'all! Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving! It gets cold out here at nighttime. It is a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Whoa! No, you don't! No sneezing! Wet you! <laughs> there it goes. I told y'all, no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to a thing a little softer than a bang. It trigger on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, hey, the lady. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm I'm Maya, I'm not just your wallet. What is this? Edgeworth, pay the lady. <laughs> uh, so what happened? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. This fine is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. <laughs> huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information? Or that's <laughs> Phoenix. Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet, a UFO. A, a UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Okay, well, I imagine this is gonna be like, you got anything yet? Uh, yeah, okay, this is, this is the exact same line. Once we find any info about Gordy, then we go talk about it again. Got it. Understood. Um, well. Hmm. Anything I can look at on the lake? Uh. Lada's camera is staring out at the lake, as usual. Even a novice like me can tell that camera must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. That's it, huh? The trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. That's, uh, that's all we got, huh? Well, can I... I don't think any of this is gonna be definitive proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Where the fuck am I gonna find that? Larry, help me out, dude. Uh... Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Maybe I can show Larry something? Larry, what do you think about Gordy? That's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I can cook them. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think someone probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth's out. Damn. Damn. Well, uh, what do you think about this bullet, Larry? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Can I look at the overhead map? Does this help me at all? No. <laughs> Not even a little. Hmm. 
Maybe Grossberg gets info on Gordy? I don't fucking know. Uh, I just want to see what he has to say, I guess. Oh, I can't even go there anymore. All right, well, they really don't want... Can I go talk to fucking uh, Gumshoe again? Hey there, pal. What's up? You look uh, out of sorts. Wait, he didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. And besides money, that is. Uh, yeah. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the loan... Who... <laughs> And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. And they're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Uh, the monster down at Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eep! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh. Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I mean, that's a very reasonable reaction. I would also be mad. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I see, pal. I'm sorry for shouting at you. No, you were very in the right, I think. I would also be equally mad. I think that's a very reasonable reaction. When, like, your friend is on the hook, for this like really important murder case and you're like, hey, you're gonna go help free him, right? And you're, you're gonna investigate and find the real culprit so we can clear his name. And it's like, yeah, we're gonna do that. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for the Loch Ness Monster. I'd also be fucking pissed. <laughs> okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid in your search for Gordy. Uh, huh? I'll own you one of our newest secret weapons for finding an evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Uh, what? Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, <laughs> missile. I'm sorry, what? M missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Yo, <laughs> he's called Missile? That's awesome. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> missile, Missile, here boy. <gasps> Look at him. <laughs> Look at Missile. He's adorable. <laughs> there he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. A cute dog. And this'll help us... how? He wolves! Phoenix, come on! Look at him! Next secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. <laughs> okay, I understand in this very specific moment how the fishing pole is helpful and relevant. Gumshoe, when the fuck else are you using this to gather evidence? Like, okay, someone's, someone was carjacked. We're looking for the missing car. Hold on, let me let me pull up my fishing pole. I'll reel it in real quick. Cast the line in traffic. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster? Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. 
no, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. <laughs> Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. We're borrowing missile. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> There's no fucking shot we're taking anything else. <laughs> Can we borrow missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. I love him. He's so cute. Oh boy. Canine unit missile borrowed from Detective Gumchu. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. We got, we got everything we need. We don't need anything else. Take me back to Court Lake. What the fuck am I gonna do with this dog, dude? Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. That little creature of the detectives. What do you mean, Phoenix? What the fuck is wrong with you? Look at him. Look at him up there. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Oh, he hates Larry. <laughs> He's furious. <laughs> What's wrong, Missile? Oh my God, he's furious. Eek! Missile, Missile! Holy shit. Look at him go. Whoa, stop that thing. Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs. My samurai dogs. <laughs> Ow, he ate every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry, sorry don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have to this time. <laughs> Man. He really just... <laughs> he, what a monster. <laughs> An absolute monster. He ate every single one, huh? Damn. Uh, well... Would you like to look at Missile <laughs> Hey, Larry, look, it's Missile. Isn't he cute? Get that mud away from me. What am I going to tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick, maybe the stand is a front for a mafia money laundering scheme. My, uh, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> My poor dogs. Man, poor missile. He's gonna be he's gonna have such a stomach ache after this. That poor little guy. <laughs> what is the fucking point of this? What am I doing? Hey Lana. <laughs> How do you feel about this dog? Hey, Lana! Oh, cute! Be yours! He's a canine police dog! His name's Missile! Huh! Canines are the ones they use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. I wonder what Gordy smells like. Is that relevant at all? In the in the slightest way? Man, I can't look Larry in the eyes anymore. I feel so bad. Maybe missile is not what we're looking for. Maybe we need the fishing pole. Um well, I guess we go back to Gumshoe. <laughs> Unless... Is there anyone here? December 26th, detention center, visitor's room. Looks like Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. I guess so. Hmm. Well, oh, I can show Missile to Grossberg! 
<laughs> Summer 26, Grossberg Law Offices. Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need anything. No! I need to show him missile! It's so important! You don't understand! Now what the fuck am I gonna do? Anyway, uh... Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Hmm? Yeah, sure, pal. But I have to take back the last one I lent you. In department policy. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? Give me the, the fishing pole. Fuck it. Can we borrow that flimsy-looking fishing pole? Sure thing, pal. Oh, if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Uh... Right. Fishing pole borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. No! Missile! <laughs> I miss him already. It's been mere moments. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I'm gonna go fish up this fucking goddamn... Larry, what do you think about this fishing pole? <laughs> you know, you can't catch many fish in this lake. I'm not after small fry. I'm after the biggest fry of them all! Gordy! You're really gonna try to fish out a monster? To save Edgeworth, yes! <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye in more ways than one. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. I'm glad you've always got my back, buddy. December 26, Gord Lake Woods. Hmm. Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. A good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. She's serious. Um, what are you gonna use for bait? Oh! Yeah, oh? Um... I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought Missile along with us too. At least then we'd have bait! <laughs> that's no, that's Phoenix talking first off. That means we should have brought Missile along with us too. At least then we'd have bait. Oh, fuck! Nick! How could you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hmm, some jokes are better left untold. Oh, she hit me. Okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Ah, <laughs> my leg. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Hey, what are you doing? S sorry, Lada. Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick, pay her. My poor, poor wallet. Hey, uh, what do you feel about this fishing pole, Lada? Lada, wait, for catching Gordy. A fishing pole? Are you out of your doggone mind? Yes! I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Huh. I never thought of that. Good luck! <laughs> Thanks! I don't believe it. Alright, well, maybe at the boat rental dock we can try to fish him out? I don't know. Nope. Well, it clearly didn't fucking work. I guess we go for the metal detector next. This is some actual Looney Tunes bullshit, dude. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, pal. All right, take one back. Same, same stuff. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible, anything. <laughs> okay, well. Here we fucking go. I got a steam achievement for borrowing all of the secret weapons. That does not inspire much confidence in me, but here we fucking go. Take me, uh... I'm, I'm so blind. There we go. Take me further in. Larry, what do you think about this metal detector? Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm a mere hot... I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. All right, he doesn't give a shit. That's fair. This time, it's gonna be at the boat rental shop. I, I promise. Let's go! <laughs> I've done it! <laughs> it! 
Nick! It's beeping! The metal detectors found something! It sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Nick? Look! What the fuck? Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Air tank of dubious value retrieved. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, Lada, here's Gordy. I found him. You know what, Nick, or Larry? I'm Nick, my bad. What do you think about this? What, an air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Uh, yeah, have you seen this before? It's got the flags wrapped around it. Have you seen this before? Huh? Me? N no, never. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of the winter? There's something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. Okay, uh, Larry, is this yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. That must be a coincidence. There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Like uh, elementary schools. And used cars dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? Uh, to inflate something? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Now, why would you go asking me a question like that? <sighs> Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? This tank is Gordy. <laughs> Come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. Fine, whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then, blam. <laughs> oh, look at it go. The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off in the gourd lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Okay, well. <laughs> got bad news for you, ma'am. And do I surely I don't need to keep talking to him about this, right? I can just show it to Lada now. I found Gordy. Here he is. Yep, yeah, I'd have to say I know exactly squat about that. It's painfully easy to know when something doesn't catch Lada's interest. What the fuck? I have to keep talking to- I have to keep talking to goddamn Larry about this. Do I just talk about it now? Yeah. Um... So, the tank in the Steel Samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying out in the lake. So I went out looking every night. I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Keonse gave me that seal samurai after all. And and when did you find it? 
just the night before last. Look at him, yo. He's still in the Santa outfit. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? Nope. That's too bad. It's not at all bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. All right, now I can go tell Lada. Hey, I found Gordy. Do I have to talk about it? Or can I just present the air tank? Oops, I didn't want to, I accidentally pressed E to show my badge. Nope, okay, we have to actually talk about it. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I got, uh, I got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? We found him. Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait, I need proof. You get a photo? I have proof. Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Enough jabbering already. Let's see your proof. Take that! Take that, Lana! <laughs> Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... Yup, there he is. See, I told you it looked like a hand. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So, you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? <laughs> yup. It's Will Powers. He's out there in the water. <laughs> well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lada. Or poor Lada. So, tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta, we will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know? Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the light. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Second lake photo added to the court record. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Oh, poor Lotta. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all, <laughs> familiar to all who knew him for who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Don't ever fucking say that again, Maya. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Now, hold on. Before... I didn't mean to click examine. Before we do that, I want to look at this photo. Let me... I can't look at it. It's just an empty lake. But what if there's something on it? Let me see the photo. Game, you absolute coward. So can we talk to the guy here? Is he still here? Summer 26, boat rental shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Okay. Can I go inside? Oh, I can! Huge! I'm sorry, there's a fucking parrot just hanging out here? December 26th, Caretaker Shack. Oh, God. Meg, that you? Eek! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. N Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one to you, Maya. Meg! Y yes Finally made up your mind, have you? M my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello. Grant. Nick, what was that? A parrot, the one on the perch. Keith. Yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello! Hey, yup! Sleep. I guess he's relieved. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need I need a moment. Just Okay, I had a sip of water. I'm I'm recentered. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> um a pasta shop? Yep, I didn't think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes you to the third generation. Meg. Y yes? Tomorrow, we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. P pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes? You know the best pasta's always made west of the Rockies, don't you? R right, of course. E everyone knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what it is. Mm -hmm. ah! Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. 
this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Uh... Hey, old man, take a look at this metal detector. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> Let's look around. What, what's he got going on back here? Wow, he has a television in here, too. This fishing pole looks expensive. That, that's it, huh? Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. What are you going to do? Rob the old guy, Maya? What the fuck? That's so fucked up. <laughs> Wow, there's lots of various fish in Gourd Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no fucking shot there's gonna be angler fish in the lake, right? Like... Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what, talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. That's this fucking parrot, dude. I can't, I'm gonna have to, but I can't. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who would keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Yes, that's true. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. It ignored me. <laughs> what, you forget Meg? You gotta call her name first, or you forgot Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello. Ah! See? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Oh my God. Why? <laughs> to what end? <laughs> The erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker answers to the name Polly. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Polly! Polly, what's your name? Polly! Right! <laughs> Cute! I has found a new friend. I mean, parrots are kind of cool. Uh. Oh, my memory's gotten worse late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? <laughs> One, two, two, eight. Brah! All right, time to rob this old man. <laughs> hey, Polly, watch it, will you? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. Get a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved with your little heist schemes. That's really it, huh? We just talked to the parrot to rob this old man. I mean, can I rob him? No, okay, I had a feeling. <laughs> well, this was not very productive. Can I show you anything? Hey, guy, how do you feel about, um, this photo? Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow lioli. I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Uh... 
Okay, is this gonna be the same thing? Now listen to your Keith. Yep, okay. Well, this is- that's what we get when we don't show him something important. Uh... Gordy? I can't imagine he cares about Gordy. No. Maybe I need to show him the fishing pole and he'll be like, I love fishing, it's my favorite activity. How do you feel about this gun? <laughs> I'm robbing you, old man, open the safe. <laughs> oh, no, nothing, okay. Uh, well. How do you feel about the parrot? <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that checks out. I do love that it's the rainbow Leoli. That's pretty sick. I'm gonna try coming back with the uh, the fishing pole. I think I think I'm cooking something here. Let me just 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 give me a moment. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Every time I gotta look at Larry's face, I just feel guilt now. Though he did cause the whole fucking Gordy thing, so like whatever. December 26, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Now that you mention it, didn't he say he had a meeting to go to? Ah, that's right. Let's come back later. Well, uh, maybe Edgeworth is out. Nope. Uh, well. I guess I got something I gotta do with this guy. Uh, Grossberg come back? Nope. Uh. Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving's so much more fun! It's not going to be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Right, I'll behave! <laughs> oh dear. You gotta, what are we doing? Well, what should we do? I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I think I'll let you decide what we should do. Deal? Well, any thoughts you want to share? Well, I was in detention all day. I think I'd like a little, I think I'd like more time to think. Poor Maya, she probably thought about Mia the whole time she was in there. All right, I thought this was gonna give me some hints. It did not. Uh, well, I guess we, there's gotta be something else going on with this guy, right? Can I, Larry, what do you think about this bird? He doesn't know much about that. Um, what about you, Lotta? <laughs> Don't have anything to talk about the fucking pit. You're not even here anymore, damn it. Well. Uh, I've gotta show him something, surely. Right, like. I mean, we're just gonna go down the list, I guess. Until I find whatever it is I need to show him. Tricolor pasta, the rainbow lioli. I think I already showed him the autopsy report. I definitely showed him the photo. Oh, maybe he'll remember uh, Maya's mom. He's old, surely he'll know. Nah, he has no fucking clue. That, that checks out. Uh, we already showed him Gordy the map. Can't imagine the map is very relevant. Erm, um, this bullet. <laughs> nope. Got nothing to say about the bullet. Well, clearly he has something to say about Lada's deposition. Obviously. Nope. Maybe the metal detector? How do you feel about this metal detector? Uh, maybe the photo? Nope. The, uh, the parrot again. <laughs> Every time, huh? Well? I mean, just to make sure, I, I did already show him this, right? Maybe my badge? I'll be like, I'm a lawyer. Unironic badge moment? Nope. That's not it either. Oh, it is it! <laughs> That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Yep. 
I figured you out now. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. N Nick? How's our chance to clear things up? Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister? All right, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. It's sure. He's gonna forget anyway. Okay, we promise. N Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Y yes? <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know? Now, what was it you wanted to know? Uh, speak up, Polly. Hello, hello. Grrr. Um... Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Fuck! <laughs> uh, present bird. Polly here's my only friend in the world. Isn't that right, Polly? Hello! Hello! Grrr! Yup. He fell asleep. Yeah, okay. Well, I have no fucking clue what I need to show him now. Uh, do I show him the badge again? He won't be needing that badge to run a pasta shop. How's it? Uh, um, I think I'll hold on to it if you don't mind. Hey, he doesn't care about the camera. Uh, the autopsy? Nope. It's surely it's the photo, right? Like, of this photo? Yup. I seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes? It's okay. You can call me dad. D dad, you know something about this? Yup. The other night, out on the lake. Yes? Yes? I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us! Tell us what you saw! Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably not, yup. It was after midnight, but it okay. And I heard this bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another one, bang. There he goes. And a little while later, this boat comes back. And a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself, yup. What did he say? Hey, yup. I forgot. I'll remember him to my court tomorrow by court time. Promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Eh. Uh, Little Terry was just here. Terry? Uh, yup, that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat 
Got himself some whiskers growing out his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Grok! Don't forget DL6! Grok! Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6! Grok! <laughs> Insanely ominous, what the fuck? What, the DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I mean, dad. <sighs> this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly talk about? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the front door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, now we're cooking. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Here we go. All right, Gumshoe. Help me out, buddy. Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Hey, you don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? Detective Gumshoe, please help us. I should have talked about the caretaker first. Fuck. Uh-huh. We need to know about the DL6 incident. Uh, that, that was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think it has something to do with this current case. Uh, to tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So... I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Do you know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Uh-huh. How'd you... Uh, that was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is... We have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Uh. Well, um, hmm. I guess I can show you the parrot, which mentioned the DL6 incident. What's that? A uh, parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Grok! Don't forget DL6! Scrock! Huh? I'm glad we flashed back to 10 minutes ago. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, do you think he might be? I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there's the station's record room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. 
All right, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. Oh, I'm so excited. Take me to the records room. I gotta know. December 26th, Police Department's records room. Wow. It's amazingly dusty. Ten years. No, this is fucking Phoenix. God damn it. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6. Nick, I found where the file is. Oh, uh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Okay, um, the case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. I found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. This incident took, the incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial tomorrow? Looks like it. In the elevator, huh? There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Ow! That was some earthquake! At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like- it, that would be scary like that in the dark! There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have any- do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. So, hold on. They were locked in a dark elevator. They were unconscious because of lack of oxygen? That seems kind of weird to me. Is that a real threat when you're locked in? Surely an elevator is not hermetically sealed, right? Like, but anyway, that's, that's irrelevant to the point. Why would the other guy just randomly shoot Edgeworth's dad? I don't get it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got on the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi? He was a clerk in the court, apparently. Dude, he is losing it in there. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to the defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so he had brain damage. Damn, holy shit. 
How did how did Edgeworth make it out okay? He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. I mean, that's the old man at the dock, right? Hmm. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick! Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much! We'll never get it out! You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? The L6 case file added to the court record. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in the court. I think that old man is hiding something. I think he's pretending to be senile. I think it's a bit. But, because he's, he's absolutely the, the culprit of the DL6 incident, or allegedly the guy who was found innocent. Anyway, though, we'll get into those juicy details next time, because uh, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the official store page. You can get the game for yourself if you want to do so. And if you made it this far with me, I really, truly appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day, or your night, or whatever time it is, and I'll see you again next time. Good-bye.